Okay, good morning everyone. So today we are going to start with our next topic today. So I just want to know what do you see in the picture that is in front of you. You have two, we have two kids in front of us and one is thinking about that he had vegetables and milk and the other about apple glass of water and some sausage right so what do you think our topic is associated with what thing today yes yes why do we feed why do we eat these things we sometimes tend when some we sometimes hear from our elders that we need to eat healthy right we need a healthy diet to stay healthy proper diet should be there so we'll be discussing about that what we'll be learning today yes now now what do you see in front of you yes we have a man strong man who is having this strong build because he is made of vegetables and healthy things and what do we get from these healthy things so we need energy for performing various daily activities that is correct right and we get this energy from the food that we eat that is why this man is made of what he ate just like we are also we sometimes some our elders say that we should not eat fast food or we should eat healthy so that we'll be healthy because if we eat fast food we'll be becoming like fast food only which is oily soft fluffy and doesn't move right so just like that vegetables should be eaten to get energy proper amount of energy that is required for from our body so there are certain comp components of food like carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals so these components of that are present in food are giving us what we call as strength our immunity health healthy body and these components are necessary for our body so if we want to stay healthy if we want our body to function properly in a proper way we need these components which are present in the food healthy food basically right so carbohydrates remember these four uh, five uh, nutrients we can say that is the topic that we are going to learn about today that is nutrients so these nutrients these are also nutrients these are example of some nutrients which are present in food which are necessary for for our body that those nutrients are carbohydrates proteins <coughs> proteins fats vitamins and minerals so we'll be learning more about the nutrition yes if now we have just discussed that how do we get nutrition we are getting these carbohydrates proteins minerals vitamins from vegetables then what about plants how do they get nutrition what do you think you can put your guesses in the chat box or we can say the comment section below i'll give you 2 seconds uh, to uh, or i would say 5 seconds for that yes so if you talk about plants we will be looking at how plants are getting their nutrition so we'll be moving forward and to look what actually happens yes so if you talk about nutrition in plants the process of intake of food or nutrients like carbohydrates fats proteins minerals and vitamins when organism as well as the utilization of these nutrients by the organism is what we call nutrition basically so there's a def this is the definition that is defining what nutrition actually is so the intake of the nutrients through food with the help like in in the form of food and the utilization of those nutrients so we can say the food that we eat or the digestion of food then utilize the after digestion then we are utilizing that food the nutrients that we are getting in that food that whole process is what we are calling it as nutrition the intake and the utilization of these nutrients yes so now you will be giving few answers which of the following is a nutrient according to you yes i will be waiting for 10 seconds for you to give responses for all of you which of the following is a nutrient according to you 
protein, fat, vitamin, or all of the above that were mentioned. Yes, so the answer to this should be all of the above because we have just discussed that carbohydrates, proteins, fat, vitamins, and minerals, they're all nutrients that are present in food. Yes? Now we'll be thinking about how do plants get food. Just we had just thought about it that how they are getting they must be getting their food, right? So there is this process that is called as photosynthesis. That is the way the plants are making their own food, right? The plants are having their food basically. The food that they have is through the process of photosynthesis, food making process in plants. So photosynthesis is the is the process by which Plants prepare their own food by using sunlight, water, carbon dioxide, and chlorophyll. So when we think about what food the plant requires, then the food that plant requires is sunlight, water, carbon dioxide, and chlorophyll. So photosynthesis takes place in the leaves. So that is the green part of the plant. So photosynthesis takes place in where? Where? Just like in the picture, you can also see it takes place in the sea, in the leaf. And we can see different structure. This this whole stuff, bean like structure, Rajma bean like structure. They are kidney shaped basically. We can see that they are present in the leaf. So they must be helping somewhere in photosynthesis. Yes, you can also guess this that they must be helping if they are present in the leaf and photosynthesis occurs in the leaf only, or only not not only but the green part that is there that is having chlorophyll basically. So sunlight is obtained from the sun. That is. The main source of sunlight. Water is absorbed. Uh, water is uh, absorbed uh, absorbed by the roots. Water is absorbed by the roots and transported to the leaves. So we know that roots are there in the plants for water absorption. So that water that is absorbed by the roots, it is transported to the leaves. Then, if we talk about next, then carbon dioxide is taken from the air through small pores in the leaves called stomata. So the function, the, just like I have just told you that these structures must be having some kind of function, right? So the function of these structures, that is stomata, is to trap carbon dioxide because plant needs this nutrient that is carbon dioxide as well as food, right? So carbon dioxide is taken from the air through small pores in the leaves called stomata. Now when you say chlorophyll, chlorophyll are the green pigments present in the leaves. So chlorophyll are the green pigments that are present in the leaves, which so yes, chlorophyll is the chlorophyll are the green pigments present in the leaves. So the area that is responsible for the trapping of sunlight also that is the chlorophyll that is present in the. It is also the pigment that is responsible for the. A color that is green color that was that is present in certain that is most of the plants basically most part of the plants are green so the part uh, that parts are able to trap sunlight mostly but the mostly this photosynthesis process is happening in the leaves only basically most of, in most of the plants but in other areas also in maximum in um, in many plants in the the photosynthesis happens in other parts of the plant as well like from stem wherever the stomata are also present. I hope this is clear to you the process of photosynthesis. How sun, uh, uh, water, carbon dioxide, and chlorophyll are also nutrients for plants, just like vegetables and other pulses. These are nutrients for us humans. So now we will be discussing about this. Yes. Now this is the equation of photosynthesis. So I'll be making this bigger to understand the process of. Photosynthesis basically. So, what is this process? Photosynthesis. The photo means. What photo means? Photo means light. And synthesis means to form, to generate. Synthesize something, create something, right? We are creating something from light. Basically, we are creating something from light. 
Yes, so we have this source of light here that is sun basically, right? We are calling it sun. That is what is it is called, and it is giving us the light, light energy that is required by the plant basically. And then we have this plant here, which will be acquiring that energy that is. These are the roots. What roots will be absorbing? The roots will be absorb or uh, absorbing water. H two O basically. That is the formula of the water. Right. And from here, the plant also requires carbon dioxide. Carbon. dioxide carbon dioxide is also required i'll just bring it a bit closer to you so you would be able to look at it carefully this screen light is falling on it so still it is but visible to you i hope so this is light plus water plus carbon dioxide they will be the food for the they will be working as a food for the plant and what plant will be making from this so the plant in turn will be making sugars plus oxygen that we get from plants right so we are getting sugars and oxygens as this product of this process that is photosynthesis basically i hope this is clear for clear to you with this diagram right this water light and carbon dioxide they are working as the reactants and the product that we are getting is sugar and oxygen basically so that is the process of photosynthesis the reaction that happens the equation that is of photosynthesis yes so that is what is depicted in the photo as the, is there as well that is sunlight carbon dioxide and water is, are there and they, the photosynthesis the process of photosynthesis occurs and glucose you can see the sugar c6h12o6 glucose is formed as a result of the process of photosynthesis with a gas that is being released in the process that is oxygen which is utilized by us humans and animals for living yes so we'll be moving forward from here then now i'll just move myself a bit yes now you will be filling these blanks so what should be coming in this blank yes in this blank what should come out of the given options that are there in the bottom yes you will be telling i'll give you 2 seconds to think about it what is coming from the sun as the name suggests the name of the process yes so the, the first thing that is there in this blank that come that will come is that is sunlight basically and the thing that will come here it is yes so the next thing that is the second point that is here it where it should come what it should come yes so here it will be carbon dioxide that is the gas that is taken by plants and from what from a uh, soil what is the plant taking plant is taking the water so that is that are the reactants basically light carbon dioxide and water while the products will be the sugars or we can say the starch that is formed and the oxygen so here in this bank starch and in this oxygen will be coming So now I hope you know the process of photosynthesis very well. 
now we when we talk about nutrition there will be modes of nutrition as well so we have written two modes of nutrition in front of us that is first is autotrophic mode of nutrition and the second is heterotrophic mode of nutrition yes so what do you think autotrophic mode of nutrition should be what does the name suggest auto what does the name suggest auto yes so auto physically means self or by themselves by themselves auto means self so the one who is make like do making his nutrition by themselves right they are not dependent on anyone that those are calling we calling them as auto trophs and the others hetero hetero trophs h e t e r o t r o p h s hetero trophs those who are not making their own food and are dependent on others for their food and but who should be they dependent on those who are making their own food right so in the category of autotrophs who should come plants can you see the plants should come in the category of autotrophs they are making their own food and they are not dependent on others for their food creating their own food right synthesizing with the help of photosynthesis but if you talk about animals and humans and humans also are we making our own food you say yes we will be cooking our food we also cook our food ourselves but do we make it on by or just the, the food that we are having are we making it ourselves no right we are dependent on plants we are dependent on vegetables pulses we are getting from plants right fruits so we are heterotrophs because we are dependent on our nutrition for our for our nutrition on heterotrophs basically on autotrophs that is plants while autotrophs that are plants they are not dependent on anyone but themselves for the creation of we can say for the generation of their nutrition so synthesizing the nutrition that they require Yes, so we'll be moving forward and reading more about it. Yes, so autotrophic nutrition, autotrophic mode of nutrition. We talk about it. So autotrophic mode of nutrition is that mode of nutrition in which an organism makes its own food from the simple inorganic inorganic material like carbon dioxide and water present in the surroundings with the help of sunlight energy, sun energy, the light energy that we get from the sun. Uh, that is also included for example green plants so we have seen that how we are making the plants are making food their food that is carbohydrates proteins vitamins minerals right with the help of sunlight water like inorganic substances like sunlight water carbon dioxide also right that present in the atmosphere and they are making their own food like that is sugar and sugars that is glucose and in the end they are more making starch and they are releasing oxygen in the process which is required by us again so heterotrophic mode of nutrition if you talk about then heterotrophic mode of nutrition is that mode of nutrition in which an organism cannot make its own food from the simple inorganic material like carbon dioxide and water and depends upon other organism for its food For example, all animals, most of bacteria and fungi also have heterotrophic mode of nutrition because they are dependent on others for their food. So animals are dependent on some animals, some plants. So we can say they are heterotrophic. They are following heterotrophic mode of nutrition. So very good. You all are following the lead. Yes. Now we'll do a quick recap of what we have studied today. so we have studied about the nutrition what nutrition is basically acquiring or intake intake of the food and the acquisition or we can say the utilization of the food that we have taken is being termed as nutrition basically right so nutrients we are taking and utilizing we are calling the process as nutrition and then we have also discussed about different mode of nutrition and also first we discussed about the 
how plants are taking their nutrients right so and we have seen that plants are taking their nutrients through the environment they are they are using sunlight water and the carbon dioxide to make their food and they are releasing oxygen in turn and they are saving the sugars for themselves at food in with the process of photosynthesis basically right and we have discussed about the mode of nutrition that are there that is autotrophic mode of nutrition and heterotrophic mode of nutrition so autotrophic no mode of nutrition is all about how plants are making their own food the one who make their own food and are not dependent on others for the, for it they are being called as autotrophic and then they are following autotrophic mode of nutrition while those who are dependent on others for their food and nutrients they are being called as heterotrophic and they are following heterotrophic mode of nutrition so that is also the difference between it and so we'll be discussing you will be answering those these questions in the chat box or we can see the comment section i'll be discussing about those the answers and the mistakes that you have made in the a comment section only later on so you will be defining nutrition how will you define nutrition if any one of you can answer in the chat box you will be able to do it now as we have already discussed what it is and what is uh, now if uh, you will be writing a response i'll be checking them later on now the next question is that what is the basic difference between autotrophic and heterotrophic mode of nutrition these two questions i'll give you 20 seconds you will be uh, answering these questions in the comment section first these two questions for us to have a quick recap just whatever you can remember for about these two statements what they mean yes you must be knowing by now yes very good students so we will be moving forward towards a third question that is which part of the plant is called as its food factory which part of the plant is called as its food factory so we have discussed where the plant is making its food prominently basically dominantly which part is prominently being used for the food creation of food synthesis in plants that you will be clicking or we can say you will be writing in the comment section the options are fruits seeds leaves and flowers so i'll give you 10 seconds to think upon it and answer in the comment section yes so the correct answer to this question is leaves so we have also seen in the picture as well there are there are multiple stomata kidney like structures that are present in the leaves which help the plant to trap the carbon dioxide as well and it helps in the process of photosynthesis in turn all in all it is helping the in the process of photosynthesis so leaves are the food factories that are present in plants so that is it for today so we'll be moving forward towards the homework that you will be doing that is you will draw a well labeled diagram of uh, di diagram that is showing photosynthesis the process of photosynthesis in plants you will be drawing the diagram of that we have also drawn it today i also tried to do that pretty roughly but still you will also be trying you will be making it a bit neat and the second question is write different examples of organisms belonging to autotrophic and heterotrophic mode of nutrition so we will be writing the examples of organisms following autotrophic and heterotrophic mode of nutrition and the third question that you have to do you will have to do is you will try growing a sweet potato just in water describe your observation in the observation book basically you will be trying to grow a sweet potato just in water you will be keeping it you will be keep, keeping a jar putting water in it and you will just placing a half half placing way half way just half is outside half will be inside the water you will be placing the sweet, sweet potato inside it and you will be describing what observation you will make after the after overnight or we can say after two days so thank you class that is it for today i hope you have enjoyed the lesson and the session and you will be coming again so we'll be meeting again for the next class with an, uh, another interesting topic so till then goodbye and stay happy and healthy
थैंक यू सो मच